Kante. Uh, the song says Cheza currently is the biggest gospel song uh, running around and uh, <laughs> in the air almost uh, Yeah. It's beautiful and it's beautiful. She definitely has a concert coming through in May. Mm. Yeah, May May seventeenth. Yes, she did. She gave us a very beautiful performance at the Travis Green concert as well. Uh, she was she was amazing and well amazing. received as well. Uh, yes. I think it's one of the video clips I've seen on TikTok so far mm. of an artist received in that particular style yeah. in Christian circles. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's so, been loved. Exactly. So that's Gabriela Dante for you. There is a whole notion going on that she's not Christian. She's not a gospel artist. <laughs> she's what 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 what. Uh, OJ, I want to ask uh, do something. Do you want to become her spokesperson? No, I, I, I want to ask something. Because one, if you talk about an artist, I am the president of the Federation yeah, of, of course, Of course, of yeah. course, But now, OJ, I want to ask, and you, I want to ask questions today. Yeah, a few of those. The question is, the, the, the hymns the Catholics sing, are they gospel songs? They are. They are gospel songs. The Church of Uganda, the hymns they sing, are they gospel songs? We, are. we also sing them in church, actually. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Yeah. Are they written by Pentecostal? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, oh, God. But I've always asked the, the same question. Yes. The people who write songs that are not Christian or are, that are not born again, mm -hmm. and probably they write uh, the gospel, gospel <clears throat> music, Yeah. I think it gets back to the same question. No. Well, well it's a different thing. Mm. When you look at the settings under which these hymns in church are written and sung, yeah, it's it's the ambience itself. It's the, the notion. When, the when you say hymn, you somehow put it on a, a neutral and comfortable ground. Mm. Let's say this song sung in these different denominations. Point in case the Catholic songs. Yeah. I find some of the Catholic songs way deeper. Than yeah. some Pentecostal songs. Some Pentecostal to be honest. Mm. So now, when you wake up and say, well, Gabby is not Pentecostal, she is Seventh day Adventist, and uh, that she shouldn't sing gospel music, I just don't get it. Because this is, this is me, this what? is what I'm thinking. Okay. As a federation of gospel artists, we have what we call one. We have associations from the Catholic Church, mm. we have uh, associations from, uh, from Catholic, even Bukarango their association is in the federation mm -hmm. we have the anglican choirs and you know these other artists who actually categorically say we are first we are church of uganda and then we have those ones from that come from the catholic side as well they all subscribe to the federation there are particular people who call themselves christians and gospel people honestly speaking and then their life is totally different which again when you get gabby and some of the gospel artists She's more of a gospel artist than she is. Well, I was looking at also the seventh day saying she's not seventh day. <laughs> Why? Because she puts on trousers. <laughs> she does makeup. Mm. She does, you know, you understand that. So now we, we, we have an issue when us Christians and, you know, we wake up and start going to the propaganda that is really not called for. Honestly speaking, I find a very huge problem when we are at front of, you know, tabloids and a lot of things trying to be very cynical and just to have arguments that are not really amazing. It feels so terrible, honestly speaking, when Christians look at you and like, Bano Baba Dechi. you understand that. When I, I, when I talk to Gabi, why I even received her in the gospel space is that she left her secular systems and said, you know what, the job that I was doing tried to make sure that it got me off from what I believed in. Mm. You understand? Mm. My faith and the music that I was doing we were parallel. We were parallel. She yes, when you were Urugambo, let me move forward. You understand that? And now she starts to sing gospel music. But King, we have Christian stations that have shows Urugambo. So are you saying Urugambo is ungodly? Urugambo is ungodly. <laughs> Actually, the Bible calls it loose talk. Yeah, loose talk is ungodly. And, and especially works. you're doing it to, to the secular world with yeah. the secular artists and all of those. Lose all hmm. on Christian media is ungodly. So most of the shows that we have on Christian media, uh, you know, they just inform people of what happened behind the curtains. No. Um, <laughs> you need, <laughs> you need <laughs> to see the Basarawadi. <laughs> Exaggeration. Pizza. Exaggeration. 
basi kasi ko mtunguru basi kasi ko mtunguru gwe i tell you this it, man you list, you watch a, a gospel show actually you watch a christian media house host a show and you like do they know their assignment on this planet do they know who christians are supposed to be mm. do they know who we are supposed to be Honestly speaking, it's a demand from the consumers. They, no, so they feel like you know okay. we, we need to feed them with the, what they the want. The demand for the consumers is nudity. Are we nude? Well, no, we the whole not world at is all. demanding for nudity today. Mm. I was looking at some of the clips that came from the Oscars recently. This John Cena guy is totally naked, presenting an award. Oh, <laughs> mm. and everyone was clapping, and then they're very happy. But it, it, since the world is demanding that, are we doing it? Mm. No. Okay, the world demands a little secular music on Christian media houses. Are we doing it as spirit? Have we died? Did we no. stop broadcasting? No. We cannot conform to the standards of the world as Christians. Mm. Honestly speaking, salvation is interestingly amazing and harder to even mm. exercise. Yeah. It is sacrificial. The things that you feel. No. For the good of your life and health. Mm -hmm. But today, Christians it's don't just that to we, we live contrary. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to just look at something and let it go. And then, now that's the hardest thing and the toughest thing, OJ. And as Christians, and then we, we in, in the name of content creation, in the name of Simania surviving as a media house, Mumuletesh program, Nawaneno, Ekuba, 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 Ekuba. You cannot, as Christians, we can't. That's why if you feel like we are boring you, it's feel free to actually go, uh, <laughs> wait for the next show. <laughs> Honestly, I told you, you know, you well, it's that. real talk this morning. King of Radio is coming just, you know, out or, you know, just talking about things that. Uh, baseless and formless, and somehow we're giving them so much attention. We give them so much so, attention. So um, I, I think we need to have this often because I feel like in Christian circles, we we like to we choose peace, but we, at the same we hate time, reality talk. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I tell you this. Something tomorrow, like that. Mm. Tomorrow we'll talk about this unity thing. You, you you understand? Because I tell you this: we, the children of God, we have failed to unite. Um, we have failed to understand the simple basic things of Okwerekeza. And the unity bit of it is failing because we have failed to Okwerekeza. We have failed to actually completely give our lives to Jesus Christ. Because when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you become a stupid person. Even when you move around, you tell you, oh, no, no, you don't have And life continues. It's, all, it, it's vanity. Some yeah, fights would be best. Be because what makes people, other people happy, for you, they make you happy. You forego them. You let go. You mm. everyone is saying, King, let's go out on party. Mm, where? Move. Like okay. No, no, no. I'm so that Billy. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Then yeah. you don't go. Your guy, your silver. He gave his life to Christ. Now we're a father. But the fact is, he's not quite a father. So, King, I think what we feel to understand as Christians is that what fundamentally unites us is way far greater than what actually divides us. Exactly. I think that will be a topic for tomorrow. Yeah. Today is we, a Love Wednesday, and uh, we choose to talk about love. Regardless. Love, love, love is accepting. Regardless, love is regardless. receiving. Love is mm. I'm telling you this, by the way, and when it comes to love in church, it is all plastic. Mm. Love in church is given best to who you are. And that, that's the life. thing. Love in church will say, ah, we, we accept all Christians. And but then in before you know, we don't. We don't. In we don't. Yeah, you'll find that Catholic music will not be able to play it. We will not be able to play any other religion because we in church already there, a, we are being segregated. One so. of, one of, there is a day, I think, there is a day one, a priest called me here mm. Mm. who wanted the program here on radio, on, on TV. The Catholic church. So he calls me. He's like, yo, what's up? We have a program going on. We want to air. I'm like, yeah, sure thing. Nangama. Okaka sa be the king of radio was spirit. Konze yenze sebo. Nangama. Eh, okay, this is a konze. Nangama, mama, nyabo. Ferie wafe wana buli kre TV. Yosawa lo kozo naze tukubi deba tuteka gudeyo. Nangama, what is the goal in this life? Aren't you preaching the gospel? Mm. If someone is confessing Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, honestly speaking, their values are met. There are very many born again Christians. Yeah. There are very many born again Christians that have refused to leave church, Anglican church. Mm. 
They try to come this way, you hurt them. They try to come this way, ni mba sabidi zinyo ni mba kujako. They try to come this way, ni mba kujako. Why? And there are also so many uh, Christians, born again Christians, who are just pretending, who are not of God. Who are not. The only place that I cannot uh, 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 comprehend, probably apologies if you're calling, if you're listening in, but sit down and book a music on it, because I know, ni injiri ya mtisobola. Hmm. Because your values are totally different. Now they don't Absolutely. believe that Jesus that, is the they, son of God. No, they believe. Uh, they don't. I I watched one this Sheikh who came recently. He said Men. he was. Mm. But they don't accept that he died. These are the fundamentals they believe. It was Katunda his word. Tazala. It is his word that he became Mary became pregnant by the word. Mm. It was a word that Mary became pregnant but not just him katonda yazala yes si mwana katonda katonda tazala now if you move out those things then we have kill zamu yafa ni bende kill za koma so so our muslim brothers we do not judge you actually but they they are fasting as we speak we agreed we to dip, to be different in ideology and understanding yeah to yagali leyo fena nenga ne bitu gata binji wali gata binji nebo chulira muni no not faith wise not faith wise of course tukwagaliza okuloko ka but we do not judge you eh mukama chakola mu muri magenda gukola for example king uh, as as you you're sounding like uh omkongos um, <laughs> <laughs> your sound yeah. but they work on it a uh, quick one i was saying that most of us have found ourselves doing business mulokole muno fails you on integral issues no god but i thought you were mulokole munange how come you're the one cheating yeah, we have so many pretenders here? so uh, uh, days. let's fix ourselves in there yeah. and um, together we shall <laughs> thrive exactly mm. but honestly but speaking, point taken let's love each other let's try to exercise what we say what we believe in and what we preach most of the times and um, it does not hurt mm. to just look at something nutachogirako mm. just look at something omu lokoli no gamba wow okay can't say it echo kama chipasa kanyanga bwana ayagala chibere because honestly speaking there is a way christians were just trying to just mambo jambo and almost everything when we get back Let's talk about love. Did God, and, yeah. did God speak? <laughs> did God speak in your relationship? Mm -hmm. Does he speak on who you're going to marry? Oh. Or is just mukoze salinyarie to keep saying let me wait for God to speak. Most especially babes when you approach them mm. let me 